All right, what this uh, video is going to do today is going to walk us through how to do a Miracle e application. So, what we're going to do is obviously go to Americo.com, should have your login uh, already set up. We're going to go into sign in. And once we get inside uh, the home page of uh, Americo, there's going to be a few buttons that obviously we've went over in a few other videos that we had. Um, and we're just waiting here as it pops up. So we come down here to the bottom right where you see sales connection web demo version. We're going to click on that. This will bring us to the first part of it where we're going to select new new e-app, right? So we want to go ahead and set that up. And this is where we're going to plug in. The first thing that we do is plug in the birthday of the client, 02-01-1957. Okay. So you're going to see as you plug in the birthday, the available products that will pop up here. Um, and if they're not highlighted, that means they don't qualify just based on age. Right, so now you watch if I change the birthday to uh, let's say 1950. Now it takes away another uh, another option for them. But then again, if I raise it to 1960, you'll see every pretty much everything will pop up that's available for them. Right. So uh, in this scenario, what we want to do is uh, which final expense is going to be the uh, Eagle Premier Series, which is one of the most uh, used products that we have with Americo. So we're going to click here. We also can put in the uh, the client's name. Now it's important here that you're going to see right above it, male. Uh, you want to select it, whether it's male or female here, right? So um, we're going to just select T, Tony, and we're going to say Bar, Tony Bar, right? Uh, we'll create. All right, here we go. And is going to ask us for our um, writing information, our writing number. So we want to make sure that's always handy when we're, uh, when we're doing applications. So you're going to need that in the home, All right? And then we're going to say, are you, uh, no, my, oh, sorry. FFL. And then, uh, you're going to say no. And then, uh, next. Here at the very top, it's gonna, you gotta make sure you read these questions correctly and you select the, the correct response or you're gonna have to come back and fix it. So that's the only thing with these e-applications is you just gotta pay attention to what they're asking and you put in the right information because they won't let you go forward uh, without completing everything. So is the proposed insurer gonna be the owner? Of course. So, and then we plug in the address. We're just gonna plug in, uh, plug in this address. To Florida, zip. Okay. Here, uh, how long have you been at the address? If we say anything below five years, they're going to ask for a, uh, an address. So I put in six, right? So that's all the information they need. Now, if somebody's only lived there for three years, you're going to see that additional information, another address will be uh, need to be implemented. So it's going to be not the one that they're currently in, but the one before that. So we're going to go ahead and take that and put six. Okay. Uh, takes it away. We got the mail. Now we're going to put the phone number in. Okay. Put the email address of the client. If they do not have one, then you're okay. But if you're going to be doing things uh, over the phone, which you are able to do here, uh, you need an email address. Okay. So for this, for this purposes, we're just going to say no email address. I'm, I'm with in front of the client. We're going to put in the social. Okay. And where were they born? What state were they born? Uh, or if they weren't born in um, the United States, you can still, they can still be a citizen and you can put wherever they were born uh, and what country they were born. Right. So we're going to say here just uh, for our purposes, Florida next. This is where we're going to plug in. We see Eagle Premier is our, um, our product that we chose. The face amount that we're going to look at doing it can be up to 30,000. So if I tried to plug in 31,000, you're going to see that um, down here at the bottom is not available due co to combination of issue age, premium class, and amount specified. 
So the amount specified in this scenario would be because we put too much in. The max we can go, you can see if we did 30,000, you're gonna see that that'll go away, right? So we can put in 30,000. The current age is 60. Is there a day a week um, draft requested? So what we tell the clients here is that we, um, the first payment's gonna come out when it issues, which it's likely that it'll issue either today or tomorrow. And the payment would come out uh, that day every month from there on out. So what, when would you prefer to have the second payment? Because we can make that happen, All right? So you can just choose that. I say no. Uh, down here, if they're chewing tobacco, cigarettes, yes or no. Height. We're gonna plug in here the weight, 180 pounds. Here uh, is the automatic premium loans. So obviously, yes, that's um, definitely wanna do that. Calculate. And then here it's gonna show us the 141. So that's our monthly premium that we should have quoted to them before we started doing this application. So they know exactly what's gonna be uh, coming out each month. So I verify that with them. Okay, so it came out 141.40 and we keep moving on with the application. Now, if I went back up here and because uh, the Eagle Premier does give um, the non-smoking rate to smokers, if they are a smoker and I select yes, you're gonna see it, it makes me change, right? So I'm gonna to have to recalculate it. And as the numbers come up, it's gonna explain exactly what, what happened here. So the initial premium amount is 141.40. However, the client may keep the face amount level in four years after by increasing the premium to 256.91 for the smoking rate. If they decide that they, they quit over that time frame, it'll stay 141.40. Okay, so the first four years there, they get that, they get that great rate of uh, actually a non-smoking rate, even though they are currently smoking. So that's one of the, the benefits of Eagle and, and uh, how we use to, to sell the product there. So we're going to go next. This is going to be the part where we're going to find out if we can continue with the application, if they're likely to get approved. And what they do here is they look up their um, MIB, their Medical Information Bureau. So this is going to look at the medications, to see if there's anything um, that they're, they've taken that would not allow them to qualify for this product based on medication. So you got the tablet signing and the email signing. So if you're doing it from phone, then it's the email. If you're doing it from tablet and you're in front of them, you wanna do the tablet signing. Once it does its thing here, it's gonna pop up and, and ask to uh, select the signer, which is gonna be the insured. So we click sign. It brings us to this page. We're gonna allow your location. We're gonna select agree and confirm. Now to bring here, here's the MIB. So it just gives them the health information authorization. So this is gonna say, hey, yeah, you can look at my, uh, my medical history here, All right? So as far as medications go. So now they come in here and they sign it. Okay, okay. And then we're gonna finish down here at the bottom, finish. All right, so once it's done there, we say, okay. It brings us back to uh, the page where we were. And you're gonna see here to the left, we're on initiate underwriting. So what we wanna do, you see this blue button on the far right, we're gonna push the initiate underwriting. And it's gonna take a few minutes, typically when you're in the home. This one came back pretty quick because it's a demo, but it may take anywhere from you know, 30 seconds up to two minutes before you get the response back. But what you're looking for is this little text message. So in this scenario, it says uh, exactly level death benefit product to an amount of 30,000. So you could get less than the 30,000. You could say level death benefit product up to amount of 10,000. What that will tell you is that they already have a policy with Americo for 20,000 because the max they can get with the Eagle is 30, right? So, um, and then the other one that you would get is if they're a graded, uh, only qualified for the graded product up to 10,000. So you got to read this box pretty carefully. What you're looking for is the level death benefit. That's what you want because that's immediate coverage. Okay. So once we have that, we're going to go to the next screen. We can click this to go away. Now we're going to ask the questions to the client, each one, one by one, and then you're going to answer them, right? So if they have any of these, then you're going to have to answer those correctly. No, all the way down. Right, so we just keep going. No fast way to do it, and no way around it. You're gonna ask the questions. 
No, and then no. All right. So next page is another set of questions. Actually, it's just the receive copies of any premium lapses, right? So if you do, what's going to happen is you're going to need to put in that person's information. If you don't, obviously there's nothing that you need to input. So we're going to go next. Here is their existing life insurance. So yes, if there is, then you're going to fill out the information needed. If no, nothing to fill out, you continue. Now here's where you're going to do add your primary beneficiary and your contingent beneficiary. So the primary is going to be the one that if something happens to the insured, it, the uh, benefit uh, will receive the amount of the coverage uh, to the primary beneficiary. And if something happened to the primary beneficiary, it would fall to the contingent beneficiary. So we want to put in add beneficiary. We're going to put up a hundred percent here. You can put up uh, as many, many as you want up to uh, as long as it equals a hundred percent. Divide it, divide it out. You're gonna say, Sam, that's gonna be, we can say, you can see all the things down here, um, say sibling, right? Uh, then we're gonna go next at the bottom. Here's where we're gonna put in the payer information, right? So Tony would be the payer, he's the insured, and then a business, whether it's a personal or, so no, it's not a business account but it's gonna be a checking or a savings. And then we're gonna plug in the routing number, All right? So, let's see. All right, so re-enter valid bank account. So essentially what you're gonna do here is if you have, uh, I'm not putting in a real one here, so we're just gonna do the demo. Um, it would it would populate uh, the bank right here. So you, you would be verifying Americo verifies the routing number to make sure it's the correct bank and then you're plugging in the account number, right? So And then if you don't if, if they don't match it's gonna tell you right so you're gonna have to go back through And put in, make sure you put in the right one all right, so and see if it matches up. It doesn't match up, we need one more, right? So there you go. Now you have the recurring monthly draft date is the 28th. Recurring monthly premium is 141.40. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is say next. And then we're gonna, this is our agent page, right? So we're gonna answer these questions are related, proposed and insured, no. How long have you known them? Zero. Uh, did the applicant approach you? No. Is there an existing life insurance or annuity? No. And do you authorize Merrick to, to electronically telephone information specific, specified in this application? Yes. The phone number, four zero. Oh. Right. Your writing, or your uh, state writing number, right? So, and then we're gonna go, is there a split? So if you're not splitting with this with another agent, you're just gonna say select no. You're going to go next and then you're going to say underwriting decision. All right. So their underwriting review of this application has been completed and will be approved for coverage once submitted. So that's telling you it's, it's good to go. Now you just have to complete the signing, right? So you're going to go tablet signing. And the first person that's going to sign is going to be the insured. So you're going to sign. And you're going to go the same scenario here. I agree and confirm. It'll bring you to the application. Now you're going to scroll through, verify the client just goes with you. Make sure everything's filled out correctly how they want it. You're going to hear, click on the first sign button. All right. Okay. It'll bring you to here. Mother's maiden name. Just put in that mother's maiden name for the insured here. Sign. You can use previous signature. Right, so just only has to sign one time and just keep using the, the previous. Use previous. Use previous. Use previous. And then you can see we're done here because finish pops up to where you can now select it. And then the next uh, uh, is gonna be the agent, which is myself here. We're gonna say, I agree confirm and we're going to do the exact same thing only uh, I'm going to select a signature box for me and I'm going to sign that one as well and we'll scroll to the next one 
use previous. Use previous. And last one, use previous. All right, so now we're done here at the bottom, finish. We say, okay, it's gonna bring us back. Bring us back to this page where we wanna finish and, and we're not done until we actually submit, right? So you're gonna see the withdrawal case and the submit button. So if you don't hit this button, you, you've not completed it and you're not gonna get paid, right? So we wanna make sure you don't forget this button here. You say submit. And this is what you want to see, the last box, the mix success. So you're going to say OK. And now you can you have the uh, policy number that comes up for the client, which you can give to them and just explain to them that uh, they'll get a hard copy policy in the mail within about seven to 10 business days. Um, and then just do your closing, closing routine, routine and you're done. All right. So hopefully that helps. That's going to be the demonstration for the Eagle application. And they're not much different for the other products that we use through AmeriCo's uh, e-application process.